Oh, what am I doing? I'm just simply baking a cranberry cherry pie from Much Music. Hello, I'm Katie Anderchuk, also known as Gabriel Green. Three words I would say that people would use to describe me are passionate, innovative, and emphasis on the third one, energetic. What is your favorite thing to pair with honey? I've got to be honest. I'm such a terrible Jeez. beekeeper. <laughs> I don't Jeez. like I don't like honey. What? Yeah. Oh, we honey, didn't, honey, didn't list that in your uh, plenty of fish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Rude. They would have liked to know that beforehand. Yeah, we wait very into the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to keep like that a secret for so long. Details. Damn. You've exposed sorry. me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the only the only thing I really use honey for is I sometimes I bake my own bread and I'll use it instead of sugar. Sugar. Because I, I feel better about it for some reason. But I don't know. I figure I'm sweet enough. <laughs> I like those little honey sticks. Oh yeah. 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 Twist the end. Get them at tea stores. Yeah. Would nice. people buy those from our merch table? I, I want to. Oh, hands down. Yeah. I think that's a great idea. A little that QR is a great idea. Code yeah, from. that's yeah, what we're going to do. do that. Maybe for the mm -hmm. new 7 inch, we'll put out the songs. Also, it can be available on vinyl and, and honey, honey stick. stick. <laughs> <laughs> I think the biggest trick of the band is uh, my haircut. I'm actually totally bald. <laughs> and I staple this on at the beginning of what? every day. Yeah. That's <laughs> why some days it doesn't look really That's why I didn't get it on straight. It's supposed to be bangs. If you were going to lure someone, what kind of like treats would you? Use. You might have to field this one. Well, you're luring. Well, who am I luring? If I was alluring <laughs> Harold, I would allure him with bagels and bagels. Coca Cola. That's true. Oh, now we know Harold's weakness. Yeah. Bagels and Coca Cola. You hear that, girls? <laughs> Do you guys get really sick of each other when you're on tour, or just in general, mostly? We don't like each other at all. <laughs> Good. It's, uh, great. it's actually the biggest uh, challenge for this group is for me to have to be in the room with this guy for more than five or ten minutes at a time. That's good. And I hear you grow grow rhubarb in your backyard. It's not all he grows. What else do you grow? Hair. Uh, he's, a hair, he's a hair farmer. Oh, hair farmer yeah. You might not see it with a hat. That <laughs> <laughs> may be uh, blocking. No, uh, yeah, we've got rhubarb in our backyard. Sweet. That's a lot, yeah. Do you, um, getting into music, um, do you, when you first sat down to play, like, did you guys sit down and know what kind of music you wanted to play, or you just kind of sat down and made it? Uh, we, how did that work? <laughs> how have you digressed? How have we digressed? Mm -hmm. um, completely. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Harold and I started writing songs together kind of by accident. We, uh... That's nice. How did that happen? We, uh, well, we were like... We've known each other since we were kids. We just played mm -hmm. in punk rock bands together and yada yada since we were 14, 15 years old. And then we went to college, went to music school together, and uh, at the time we were playing in a band together that wasn't our band, it was just a band we were playing in. Mm -hmm. I was playing keyboard and Joe was playing guitar. Okay. And uh, Harold came over because I got a new guitar pedal and I was trying to show him this thing and then we just started jamming and wrote a song. and. We both liked the song, mm -hmm. and so we decided. Uh, oh, okay. We would continue writing songs, and then we just kind of got started getting together once a week, and writing tunes. Craziest thing you would do to get your music heard? If you had to do something just like absolutely insane, what would you do? I've wanted to get arrested for performing in public for a I long actually, time. I really like that idea. Um, Braden and I were just talking about it just now and we were talking about um, we should uh, we should get a flatbed truck yeah. set up on top of the truck and just fill up the tank full of gas. Yeah. Uh, crank it to 10 and just drive along the highway playing as loud as we can just get, like, for as long as we can. Of cop cars behind on the highway. Us, on the yeah. news. And have like a highway chase. Create yeah. a car chase. Until, until we run out of gas. and. Yeah. There's two, there's that's, a, get arrested. that's all it takes, though. To that's a pretty good one. There's yeah. two things I think. Like we, we had a great one a long time ago. We were going to start a line of ice cream trucks playing our songs all across Vancouver. That'd be great. Oh, um, or like I was thinking recently about like, because I've been really into like hot air balloons lately. I've been doing a lot of research and like I was thinking how cool it would be to just travel around North America. Just at like a good, a good level that people can throw rocks up and pop your balloon. I'm currently interning at CTV and the Green Couch Sessions. I graduated from Kaplan U Communications program. And while I was there, I spent four years heavily involved in the Kaplan Courier, writing band reviews, show reviews, album reviews, getting band interviews. And since then, I've created what I call Pie Sessions by Gabriel Green. And what this is, is me going out to Vancouver 
any bands passing through Vancouver, so all across Canada, and getting interviews with bands, basically luring them. I like to lure people with treats, mainly pie. And I asked them what kind of pie they would like, and they trade me an interview in return. I think that we need to up our Canadian content. There's so many good bands out in Canada, and people just aren't aware of them. So, I mean, I enjoy what I'm doing because I get to ask really interesting questions. Um, and it's just a casual chat between me and a band, and people get to see the real band coming through. Because it's so casual and great, genuine. Much. I'm ready to bring my hardworking attitude and great personality to you. There you have it. Come on by and have a slice.